Hello everyone, it's the Cubo and today I'm going to try to solve a 4x4 with layer by layer method. So what I mean by trying is that I have never solved a 4x4 really with a layer by layer method. I have like tried but I have never successfully solved it. Uh, but this time I have got some algorithms and some concept in my mind which can help me solve the cube. Here I got a, the scrambled cube. So the first step of solving the cube LBL is to make a center like the normal stuff, the first center. And after you have done, like we have to not, uh, we don't have to make the opposite center uh, because it's like it's the last layer. So now we have to make the four cross edges. What one made up. So you can do it same as your method. Done. Now we have to uh, solve these half centers according to the center, like according to these cross edges. So what, how, how we can solve it is that um, I can bring it over here and then move it away uh, and then bring it here and then like pair it up. Also you can solve the corners now. because we are solving layer by layer, not actual type. So we will solve the corner. So here's the first layer completed. Now we have to solve the half centers. So like just I, how I did this uh, center, we can solve the rest as well. So I'll move it away down and I'll pair it up using this and insert it. So now I'll do the same with green like this. And now I can do the same with blue. Here I solve all the um, cross edges, uh, the half centers. So now we have to solve this layer, the second layer basically. So it's the same algorithm as the three by three one, like the normal algorithm. To if you like here, so we'll move it away, pair it up, and insert the normal standard second layer algorithm for three by three. So we can solve it using that algorithm only. So. But uh, just you need to uh, keep in mind that you have to solve with only the edge which is uh, here like not the edge like this one because this one will not pair it it is supposed to come here it's the third layer edge so this way you can solve the second layer so now to the third layer uh, we have to solve all the these four edges the one gets solved so for this uh, the algorithm is also same like if you want to insert it to here you will just move it away and now you will do the same stuff but with uh, wide layer so L prime U L so now you will move it away and then you have, now you will insert this back like this uh, this and now you will insert it back like a pair so this way you can solve the whole uh, like the four edges but you have to keep in mind that you have to do it from the area where uh, there are two slots empty for the these two pieces so you will move it away bring it back and insert it same way here insert it now we have solved the four edges so now we have to solve these uh, centers we can solve it by the top layer and using these m uh, and u moves so we can like bring it up here and do like this to pair this up and move it away and then insert it you can do the same stuff with the left side like it's the most, most time taking step in the whole process because like the MOs are hard to do like so if you have solved the all the edges correctly now you are to the last layer so in last layer we uh, the first step is to solve the edges like to pair them up like this one is paired so you have to solve the rest of them so here's the algorithm like the last two algorithm from Yao which I know so we can use it to pair these three edges so the last layer uh, case is actually this one in which uh, this piece needs to go here and this one here. So it's like this pattern. So the algorithm for this case is same as this OLL case for 3 by 3 R2 D R prime U2 R D prime R prime U2 R prime. But we have to do all the R moves with wide R. So like wide R2 D wide R prime U2 wide R d prime wide r prime u2 wide r prime so we are uh, going to repeat this algorithm to solve this case for example we can solve this uh, red edge by doing the same algorithm twice here 
now we can solve this uh, case by like applying the algorithm once solved all these are solved so now it's basically the last layer of 3 by 3 but you can get OLL and PLL parity like we have here the PLL parity now the Y pump and the cube is solved so here the solve of mine with the LBL method uh, this is really a bad method for 4 by 4 because like I average 40 with Yao and uh, I do average 120 in 5 by 5 but the best I could get with this method was uh, 146 which you are seeing on your screen so yeah so if you are uh, going to learn how to solve a 4x4 you should not pick up this method uh, because like some steps in this method are really uh, time taking like the basically the third layer the centers and the edges are very time consuming steps it's better to uh, learn reduction and then learn Yao to uh, improve your times so uh, enjoy this solve and thanks for watching this video uh, also if you want me to make any tutorial on reduction or yao uh, comment down because i have made uh, improvement videos on yao but i haven't made any tutorials so if you want me to then comment down and any other suggestion for f future content or improvement in my setup you can comment down i'll make sure that i look upon it so thanks for watching guys uh, this is dcuba signing off